Cyclocross Magazine here with Kerry Werner, winning on day one of Cincy Weekend here in, in Cincinnati, Ohio. This is a repeat of last year. Could you tell me a little bit about how the race unfolded for you? Uh, yeah, just like last year, it's raining on Saturday. And so, uh, also like last year, I think they haven't had a bunch of rain here. So, um, it's really hard pack underneath. And with all the racing this morning, I think they just took the grass away. And so everything is just so touchy and slick. Um, and these conditions are like my cup of tea. I love slipping and sliding around, especially like speeds are high. Corners are like peanut butter on glass. It's always kind of fun. It's, it's like, it works better for me than like a tractor pulled mud style race. So I knew I needed to get up in the top three off the start to have good lines through those off cambers early. And uh, yeah, I managed to do that. Um, Gage slipped up on like one of the first off cambers. So Curtis and I immediately had five second gap or so about halfway through. <clears throat> and we just went with it. So it was us just trading back and forth for a little while and I could tell I was a little stronger or a little more technically technically savvy than Curtis on the first half where most of those off cameras were. So I would, I would try to push it there. I'd get a little bit of a gap and then he would close it on the second half where there was a bit more power. And finally with about, with three laps to go, he had a little, just a little slip, but I think it caused a mechanical on that first half of the course and that opened up a huge 25 30 second gap for me and i just had to keep it steady for the next two and a half laps and yeah i held it all held, held it you rode alone for that period of time is that something that you would prefer to do or do you prefer to be racing someone you know in conditions like this it's kind of nice to ride by yourself uh especially like if you're feeling okay because um, there's not a whole lot of pacing you kind of get in your own zone and you can pick your own lines, you're not worried about wheel spray in front of you, those kinds of things. Um, so I kind of liked it, especially since we were already three quarters of the way into the race. Um, I kind of knew the lines and so I didn't have to worry about pressure behind or like if I had a little slip up, if somebody was going to, you know, attack me. It was all, it was all kind of nice even keel uh, by myself. The course was definitely muddy, but when the race started, it wasn't really raining, but it did rain through the race. Did that change the way that the dirt was reacting? Yeah, a little bit. It was getting a little tacky, like really peanut buttery. Um, and the, uh, the rain, I think, actually helped. It kind of like made it a bit more soggy again. Uh, didn't allow as, as much heavy mud to stick to the bikes. Um, so I think the rain, it also made some of those corners a bit more slick, which was nice. How often were you pitting? Towards the end of the race, every lap, just to prevent a uh, mechanical. Um, but I did the first two laps, two or three laps on the first on my same bike. And then I did another two laps on the same bike. And then I started pitting every lap. So you finished today and you, you've now won last year and this year. What are you thinking going into, mar into tomorrow? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you guys can tell in this video, it's the wind has picked up and it's not supposed to rain anymore. So last year, it actually turned into a file tread day on Sunday with similar conditions to what we had now. So the wind keeps going. It's going to be wicked fast tomorrow. Um, probably be a bunch of group racing, so be a bit different dynamic and yeah, I think we'll, we'll just see what happens. More of those off cameras will probably be a bit rideable, so it'll be it'll be kind of fun, I think. Look forward to it. Congratulations.